after Cabin Fever, I was in a really, really great position where I could kind of pick and choose what I wanted. And I started getting offers to do a lot of kind of big studio movies, and none of the scripts excited me. And I just started looking at different things in the world that were disturbing me. And I'd seen this website where you could go to Thailand and pay $10,000 to walk into a room and shoot somebody in the head. And that idea disturbed me so much, I said, screw this, I'm just going to write, direct, produce, do my own movie, have complete you know, creative control over it, and uh, here we are. A bunch of kids in, uh, in Europe that just go out to have a good time with gals and drugs and stuff, uh, you know, Euro, Euro Rail Pass, and they hear that if they go to Slovakia, that they'll get the best girls there and they'll have the best time, and so they bite and they go, but it's not what they expect. Quentin was a huge fan of Cabin Fever, and after he saw the movie, he invited me to his house to watch movies. And uh, I think we were watching War of the Gargantuas or Hell Knight or some old film. And uh, we started talking about different movie ideas. And I said, what do you think about this? And I threw the idea out. And he's like, that is the sickest, scariest idea I've ever heard. Man, you've got to write that. You've got to write that right now. So I just ran home, unplugged my phone, shut off my email, and I just started writing. And then I brought it to Quentin. And Quentin read the script and said, this is really sick. And if you do this right, this could be an American classic. And I want to be involved. He's the director that horror films have been waiting to come out because it's like, you know, it's not about getting getting on the cover of Entertainment Weekly, it's about getting on the cover of Fangoria. All right, it's not about like, okay, I'm going to do horror for a while, then I'm going to ditch it and do other stuff. It's, though, it's about horror films and like taking horror films to a new place. So to me, he's exactly the director that we've been waiting for, for uh, horror films. The thing is, he comes from such a good background, like he's got such a good family life that like, but he can still go to these weird places, you know, and where he can bring people on this like crazy adrenaline rush. <laughs> you know, horror was dead for the good part of the 90s and stuff, and now it's come back and it kind of went away again, and now it's back and it's back with this vengeance, this like new kind of horror uh, that's that's coming out that is uh, that shouldn't be mainstream, but proves to be that it is. All right, even though it's leaving a lot of people beside which is, to me, really, really exciting. It's like new stuff is going on right now, as opposed to just the same old remakes all the time. I think it gives them an adrenaline rush. You know, I think people see this, and it's like, they, uh, unlike any other experience they can feel. So they're just, they go out of the, you know, the theater just charged. People, they love shock. That The, the shock value uh, in this country is insane. And I think that's what the obsession is about horror films. They're paying to have an experience that might be difficult or rare or too dangerous to have in real life. So the more, you know, it's like something why, you know, people read serial killer books or something like that to like kind of get into it, a sense of evil and be put in that headspace, but actually not really be in danger. This film was really pushing the envelope. Uh, there's a lot of horror films out there getting made, and um, they're a little tame, especially in, in comparison with Hostel. And, and that's what I really liked about it, that it really went for it, and it, and it you know, had the sex, the violence, the, the, the torture, all that stuff. And I just, I just feel like it, was, it set itself apart from all the other uh, films that are out there. No wonder people are like being escorted out by paramedics because this thing gets your heart racing so quickly and you're sweating. Everybody worked on this movie for the love of the movie, just to make something that 30 years from now kids would still rent at sleepovers. Not everyone should see this film, all right, but if, you, uh, uh, if you're into, uh, you've heard of extreme sports, if you're into extreme entertainment, then Hostel is the one for you. Hostel.